What's going on everyone? It's Nomad. Today I wanted to share how I made OG custom clones with modern helmet decals. Over time, as I share and show how I make them, I want to show different variants of clones, eventually build an OG LEGO army, and share it with you. But today I've got the simplest, a clone grunt. Let's start by cutting up the decal into a few pieces. The mouth, cheek, and forehead, and a blue stripes for now. You can cut out the old visor since you won't need that. But we can clean up the parts a little. Get them shaved down to the decal or close enough. We just need them small to fit. I won't be doing the body in this video and there's already a lot of body decal videos out there from others. I will in the future when I'm making other clones and not showing the basics of what to do first. This video is so people who enjoy the OG look or people who wanna try and update the OG clone look and try and find a way to decal that onto the helmets, they can find this and or if you want to try and fix your clones from growing up but just don't know where to start. I am going to stop using my fingers and use the tweezers instead so you and I can see better but once we get all the parts trimmed up and ready it will go a lot faster. You will want to clean up the outlines so you're not left with some gray shadow lines. It doesn't look good but once you got all your parts trimmed up Grab some water in a cup and start filling it with a thin line of water. That way if the decal falls, it's easy to grab. Also, I have Microsoft and Microset decal solutions. You can find them on Amazon in a bundle pretty cheap but I've got both of them in this little cups with the red and blue labels on them. That way I don't spill them and they're a nice added bonus if you're doing this at home. It's very easy to clean them. We will start with the mouth. Once you soak it for a few minutes, we will apply some microsol to the mouth. It'll help the decal mold to the face of the helmet and curve better to the surface. We're gonna layer a bit of this microsol onto it. It gives us enough time to get the decal out of the water and place it on. If it's not straight, grab tweezers and gently try and poke the decal into the spot. The tip of the point should line up with the bottom of the visor. Once it's in place, use your applicator sponge and press it into the decal. I'm using makeup sponges. They work the best in my opinion and also have this angle cut perfect for curves. We will use some microsole again and brush it over the decal. Push out all the wrinkles, firmly press it into place, and the microsole will help bend the decal to the helmet. Then you're going to sponge off all the extra microsole, then apply some microset and seal it in and dry. If you ended up moving the decal after you had pressed them on, use the sponge or brush with some microsol or some water. It can move it, but sometimes it can also break the decal if you're not careful. If you do have splitting or cracking, it's too much of your microsol or set. The best thing to do is to not panic and be gentle with it and try and move it to be the best you can get it to be. But we can start on the cheeks now. A little difficult, I recommend going slow. Take your time. We're trying to fit in right under the eye and this little crevice. The space right above the cheek indentions. Practice more. You'll get faster and better with less mistakes. We are learning, so don't get mad if it doesn't work out. Try again and you'll get better at it. I believe in you. It is hard, and with all of the parts being separate, you will have to line everything up. So that way it's not crooked or slanted on one side. Check it, it will save you time and hassle. Spinning the helmet helps check and see if you're straight on with the face.
perfect. Now use the curve or the smallest side of your sponge and press in the cheek. Get it pressed in nice and smooth and move on to put some more microsole and set and press a few times with your sponge. We want to try and make these as nice as we can try and make them. We are going to repeat this step onto the other side now. We will need to make sure that this is matching the other side. If it's not matching, it'll feel tilted or crooked. I do recommend using the brush with a light gentle touch, not to break the decal. If you need to move it and not wrinkle it, also use the tweezers to push it while it's loose. You can also see I actually had the decal fold slightly on me. The brush dipped in a little bit of water helped and unfolded and straighten out the decal and get it right back on. The helmet needs to feel a mirror image on both sides. We want our OG clones to feel the best on the galactic front. That way they're the best in action. Now we got both of the cheeks in place, we can now move on to the blue detailed stripes on the lower half of the cheek. Tiny details create more attention. If these stripes are not on correctly, it could look really bad. We want them to be like a mirror image on both sides, or it'll be noticeable, and not the best, like a misprint. A good tip for the stripes, leave a lip on the bottom to tell what side is the top and the bottom. We'll get those pressed on and snug, and we'll get that set with our solutions. Make sure it's nice and smooth. Do my little spin, check and see if it's right with both sides. And it looks good. Let's continue on. Next is the piece that really brings everything together, the black forehead band. It will start to turn everything that we've done into the real iconic clone helmet we know and love. I do want to warn you, it's not a hard part, but you do really have to line everything up so it's even. We don't want one side to be short or uneven with the other. We do need to spin and poke at it, get the headband to be even. Once it looks good, we'll get to be slow and soft with the sponge and not move it while we're pressing down. We can use the sponge here and move it down. We don't want the headband too high. We want it to be just right above the lip of the mold. I do end up actually making the mistake on the other side, but it's not a big problem. I can actually move it with the tweezers and flip it to be correct with this side. I'm starting to fold to the actual helmet's curves. Now that we've got that all done, we're gonna try and apply some microsol to the chin and we're gonna start applying the vents. Something that I like to do personally is cut a little bit of black above and below the middle vent. That way you have a little extra depth on the chin when we're applying the decals. Flip the middle vent, that way it has a better look whenever you are applying it to the bottom of the chin. The vent will have a much more defined look when you're applying it to the helmet. Use a little extra microsole and apply some extra pressure whenever you're doing the chin because we're wanting to make sure it wraps around the mold. While we're also doing the vents, you want to make sure that there's no outline for the circular vents on the sides. The closer you can get to the circular vents on the decal, the better. But now we're going to try and apply them to the molds on the left and right side of the chin. This part is very crucial to line up because it's going to be a very noticeable piece if you don't. But if you do this right, your results will look even more better just because everything will be nicely lined up and exact. If you don't, it will cause the helmet to look completely off. Just the slightest nudge can make the helmet look very, very bad. But all we have to do is repeat this process and then we're finished. And we can go off and seal in the decals with some spray paint. Here lately, I haven't been able to actually go out and seal up any of mine just because it's been too cold. The spray paint will start to beat up on top of your decals and start to ruin or just cause a really rough texture whenever you try and pick it up the next time after it's dry or potentially not even seal the decal down to the surface. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and if you enjoyed, join the Nomads crew, and stay tuned till next time, in the middle of nowhere.